All right, Kirchhoff's laws. So Kirchhoff had two laws, and that made him super special. So the first one is the voltage law. So what is it? What does it imply about series and parallel? So here's what the voltage law is. The voltage law is the total voltage around a closed loop of circuit. is zero. All right, but there's two things you need to know about that. So the first thing you need to know about is batteries add voltage. And resistors subtract voltage. Okay, so let's do a super quick example. So I've got a circuit here that's got a voltage of 10, and it's connected to one resistor, two resistors, three resistors. So the way I would do this is I would say 0 equals plus 10 volts minus the voltage for 1 minus the voltage for 2 minus the voltage for 3. So the voltage for 1, let's just say, is 2 volts. And the voltage for 2, let's just say, is 3 volts. So what would the voltage for X have to be? So it would be minus 2 volts, minus 3 volts, which means how many have to be left over? Yeah, 5. That's all this is saying. That's all this is saying. It's just saying that if you have a loop of a circuit, so here's the loop, if you go all the way around the loop, the voltage has to add to zero. So you get positive voltage for batteries, you get negative voltage for resistors, and that's it. Now, I want to show you something interesting. Okay, I think it's interesting. You might not think it's interesting. What if I had the same circuit, but I did it in parallel instead? So 10 volts but now it's parallel to each of these resistors. <clears throat> okay. So now I have three loops. I got loop one, which is this little one here. I've got loop two which is slightly bigger. And I've got loop three, which is the largest one. <coughs> so loop one would look like this. Zero equals plus 10 minus that first resistor. So what does it got to be? 10. The second one would be 0 equals plus 10 minus the one I'm missing. What's it got to be? You guys are so smart. Okay? Yeah. So, connections that I want you to make. There's two connections I want you to make. The first one I want you to make is that for series... Resistors share 
voltage. But for parallel, each resistor has the same voltage. Here's the way it works, okay? Call me Mr. B Moneybags, okay? And I've got fat stacks in my pocket, and I'm trying to do something with them, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat this as a series circuit. So I got one bazillion dollars, okay? I'm going to give out my one bazillion dollars to your class. If this is a series circuit, I have a limited amount of energy. I have a bazillion dollars. I'm going to give those bazillions out to you all. So everybody gets some of the bazillions. Okay? So you get a you know a fraction of a bazillion. Vanessa gets a fraction of a bazillion. You know, Valakai gets a fraction of a bazillion. Jake gets two dollars. Uh, everybody gets some. That's right. Um, but if this was a parallel circuit, it would work differently. If it was a parallel circuit, you're each getting your own bazillion dollars from me. So I would give everyone a bazillion dollars. So you'd all have your own bazillion dollars from me. So parallel, everybody gets their own thing. In series, you divide them up. <clears throat> well, we're on the notes three. Did you grab that when you came in? Well. Okay, so series resistors share the voltage, parallel sisters, <laughs> parallel sisters, parallel resistors each have the same voltage. Okay, so that's Kirchhoff's voltage law. Any questions on Kirchhoff's voltage law? Okay, we're going to do a lab next time that will deal with this a little bit so you can get some practice with it. Okay, all right, Kirchhoff's current law and what it implies about series and parallel. Okay, current law says this. The current coming into a node. Now, you don't know what a node is. A node is basically a split in the circuit. equals the current going out. <clears throat> okay, so let's do a uh, parallel circuit first this time. So we did a series circuit last time. Let's do a parallel circuit first this time. So a parallel circuit is going to look like this. Let's not do that. <clears throat> okay. There is ten amps coming out of the battery, and then there's some current coming through here, we'll call that I1, some current coming through here, we'll call that I2, and some current coming through here, we'll call that I3. So it kind of goes this way, and then it splits, goes this way, splits, goes this way, splits. So the current coming in has to equal the current coming out. So what's the current coming in? The current coming in is 10 amps. So what's the current going out? 
what comes out is I1, I2, I3, because that's where it split. It splits all evenly along here. So we would say this would be I1 plus I2 plus I3. So let's go ahead and say I2 or I1. Let's go ahead and say I1 is 2. Let's go ahead and say I2 is 3. Then I3 should be 5. Good job. <coughs> And if you're saying to yourself, hey, isn't this like the same thing we just did except with current instead of voltage? Uh, yeah, it kind of is. So that's how it works for parallel. Well, let's look at a series one and see if a series one is going to do the same thing or not. So if we're looking at a series circuit, So the current coming out of the battery is 10 amps. Okay, it goes through this first one. It doesn't split, so the current coming in is 10, and the current coming out is 10. And the current coming out is 10. It doesn't split, so the current coming in is 10. The current going out is 10. You get the idea. It's 10 all the way around. So here's the connection I want you to make for parallel. <coughs> Resistors share the current. But for series, each resistor has the same current. So, Kirchhoff's laws are kind of tricky to grasp at first, but they aren't very complicated in their simplest forms. The simplest forms is, if you have a series resistor, then it's going to have a share of the voltage, but it'll have the same current. If you have a parallel circuit, the resistors will all have the same voltage, but they'll have a share of the current. That's what Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's <coughs> current law say, basically is that. Um, so the actual laws themselves, total voltage around a closed loop is zero. That's Kirchhoff's voltage law. Current law, current coming into a node equals the current going out. So that's the laws there. So we're going to do a lab next time um, where we're going to get the snap circuits out again. But you're going to be doing some measuring on them with series and parallel. You're going to be measuring the current and the voltage and seeing if you can figure out exactly what it is um, and getting those values that way. Okay? Yes, sir? Are we doing test corrections on the test? We will do them, yes. I don't have them set up yet, but I am working on getting them set up, yes.